Okay, so drawing eyes. Let's start with the basics. You're always going to be the type of person that draws eyes at the corner of their um, notebook. And that's fine. It gets you, it gets your practice in and it helps you, you know, figure out the, what you're mostly interested in, what style it is and everything. The thing is, eyes are some of the most expressive part of your art. You can tell, you can tell what someone is feeling just with, just how, with how you draw your eyes, okay? Eyes and eyebrows, that's where we're going to start with. Your eyebrows are always going to show a lot of emotion, especially if, because eyes are the window to the soul, all the nonchalance BS, you know? Okay. To ha you do not worry about having very expressive eyes because having a more expressive character is not a bad thing. Do not ever be afraid of making a character ugly especially in the middle of something that has them feeling um, incredibly sad, happy, uh, so on and so forth. Do not ever be scared of making a character ugly. Um, you see this in Soul Eater, you see this in, uh, I, in My Hero, I've noticed it a lot. You see this in One Piece, though I'm not too keen on One Piece. Um, it's it's you you think oh that's that's an ugly look but it expresses what you, they're trying to show you like this person is going through an insane amount of pain i need you to i need you to see how this affects this character so let's start with the eyebrows and the eyes so the way i start is i always make a cross um a really short cross really big cross depends on how big your eyes are your eyebrows are always going to be slightly above your eyes. This really, really is just the basis because everybody has a different set of eyes. You have monolids, you have deep set eyes, and unlike mine, I have a um, I have a double lid, I think. No, I have deep set eyes, so I can, I have to use a certain type of eyeliner. But this is the basics. As soon as you get the basics done, it's all good. It's, it's free roam from there, baby. So your eyebrows are always going to be a certain amount of, um, of length above your eyes. And eyebrows, you can you, go crazy, go ham. You want to make those tiny little eyebrows like that? Cute. Hit me with that. Give me that. But your eyes are always going to be at least, I want to say, half an inch from your eyes your eyes they could look however you want you want to you want to do some specific character driven eyes that you know look a certain way go for it do not be scared of that especially designing your own art style it's going to help a lot don't be scared of that so here i've already designed some of the eyes so you see here when you start to Right here, this person looks very angry. I'm going to raise these right here. So, this person looks angry. Why? Because I decided to dip the eyebrow that way. Dipping the eyebrow that way, it's when you scruff your eyebrow. You're going to have a wrinkle here, and it's going to make you angry, right? So, the eyes already itself is expression in it, okay? The eye shapes are always going to be in between three lines right here, okay? So... This would be splitting half of your eye. So if you move them lower, I'm going to erase this. If you move them lower, they're looking at you head on. Right? See? And if you move a line lower, you're looking down. So it's going to be spread out in um, sections like this. Okay? So your eyebrows are going to be in this section. Your eyes are going to be in this section, and if you want to, you can put your uh, your eye bags right in that section. So it's going to be split up in two sections, okay? So, by doing this, it's going to change your expressions, how you move your character, what are they going through? Um, 
so your eyebrows, the more you dip them downward, the more it, expression it gives. It can go from anger to sadness, which would be like an upward down, uh, up, upward motion. So if I change these to go like that, bam, he's sad. You have to see a lot of what you want to portray into pictures and movie scenes and all this stuff you really have to look into what you want to replicate uh usually this helps by drawing like screenshots screenshots of different movies that you enjoy very expression and things that you see it helps completely it does do not be afraid to use references. References are your friend. Leonardo uh, da Vinci, I was about to say DiCaprio. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci, use references. Uh, all those people, use references. Michelangelo, references. You are always going to need references. Do not fear about using references. Like, and then when someone is using a reference, for example, let me see, I'll close this right now. I'm using, I'm going to draw how I draw eyes, okay? So you see that, that's how I draw eyes. This is not really detailed, but as soon as you use a reference, already I can see where I can improve my uh, drawing because I have a reference to this. I, for example, I, I'm awful, awful, awful at eyelashes. I have not learned how to use eyelashes, but that's okay. Not everybody has to. Um, already see difference. References are not are not an enemy. If someone tells you that you're not supposed to use references, I want you to stick them in a glass of freaking dirt and just ignore them because. I don't know where that analogy came from. Ignore that. Do not listen to people who say that you can't use references. Using references is key to learning your art style. Uh, the reason that my art style has gone uh, from... Don't look at that. I used to draw less, real, uh, less realistically than this. For a while, I was um, drawing more anime, going ignore the boobs. I was ignoring, I was drawing more anime, more um, like non-realistic art styles, but that was because uh, I wasn't using references. And for a long time, I stopped drawing, I stopped watching cartoons. I'm not sure why. I think it was just for a time being. I um, stopped using that and I started using realistic references. I used my own face. I used different different pictures of people, you know, all that stuff. Cartoons, not cartoons, movies. I used those as references and those really helped my art style. Remember, even if you have a cartoonish art style, use references. References are your friend. And I'm sorry if this tangent is really fucking weird because, uh... <sighs> I have ADHD, so <laughs> so I I go on tangents. Okay, so back to the eyes. Um, when you're drawing a realistic, eye, let's use this one. So this is a realistic. It's a more realistic eye. You can see more most of the detail. You know, you have the lower lash lid, the inner inner um tear. Oh my god, what the, what's that called? The I'll figure it out. I'll Google it. And I'll find out what it is. Okay, so. This is a realistic eye. You have your your glare, your lighting. Always, always remember where your lighting is. Lighting is key to your character, your characters. Um, to look at least semi-realistic, right? So, when you draw eyes, sorry, my I have a weird arm for this. When you draw eyes, you always have to remember that it doesn't matter if they're not expression. It. You think of Rin Tin Tin. Think of um. Not, 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 they're not expression it. They're not realistic. Think of like Rin Tin Tin. Think of Muriel from My Hero Academia. And yes, I will come back to My Hero Academia a lot because I am inspired by Horikoshi's drawings. Uh, you can, when making an eye, you have to remember that a lot of different races have different ways of 
um, different lids. For example, someone who is Asian might have a mono lid. So when designing your character, you have to remember this. You have to remember where their eye is situated. How much lower do you have to go on the on this scale right here to show that this person is of a different race? Um, if you are having difficulty with this, that's okay. It is really good to practice. You know, get your favorite K drama character or or BTS member. I don't even know. I don't even know what the BTS is. Whatever. But um, someone who has a monolid is going to have. They're not going to have much of this. They don't have much area on the top part of their eye because of um, the difference in their monolid. Let me get it. I don't have the color I want. I'm gonna go with orange. Okay, let's go with orange. Okay. So when drawing drawing the character, you're gonna have to realize that when someone is Asian, they don't have as much area on the top. This is basically bone structure. They don't have as much area as someone who is Caucasian or like me, Mexican. Um people that are mixed also do have monolids as well. What, so you have usually they have one line this is usually a lot of people are different and you have to dip the tear area down um and please please if someone says that you are drawing it incorrectly and if i'm drawing it correctly and someone tells you that's that's kind of racist please take that into into perspective of how you're drawing you do not want to accidentally create something racist we don't want any like minstrel type stuff here okay so you lower the eye the eye is more um lowered and this actually has in tune in a lot of anime because the way that ichigo is drawn if i remember correctly he has this type of eye that is based that is like a simplified version of this character of this realistic eye okay and if you look at the more realistic eye right here, um, it would also turn into a rounder version of this. See? Your style is going to be your style. You're going to have certain ways of drawing certain things. But please avoid anything that might seem really racist, okay? For me, it took me a while to start drawing black characters correctly, because mostly because I'm I'm judgmental of my own art and stuff like that. So it's difficult. It was difficult for me because I'm judgmental of my own art and um, I didn't want to offend anybody on accident or anything. But a lot of my characters are now mixed and they're you know um, I'm still worried about that. But always take good consider consideration into what you know your um, into what you're doing. So, or if it's like going with this. Anyway, eyes, expression and everything. Eyebrows. So when making eyebrows, you always have to, it, eyebrows are different for every person. Make them, you can, mine are very, very hairy. <laughs> I need to get them done. Uh, so, eyes are also very, very expressionate. Eyebrows are also very, very expressionate. This is the reason why when you shave your eyebrows, you kind of look kind of mean and why certain eyebrows make you look angrier. Um, for example, I have a very soft set of eyebrows. My eyebrows arc in a rainbow form instead of like a like a arrow type of form. So, for example, this character, this eyes is um, a little angrier. And if we just increase the dip downward it looks you know more intimidating and remember this when creating your character you always have to remember what you're trying to push push present from your character sorry so if i want a softer character i am going to give them softer features so soft softer eye softer eyebrow maybe a little thicker thick eyebrows are gonna save your life thick eyebrows are like a thing now you know um there you go, see? That person is already softer than this person. There is, when making your character, when designing your character, you have to remember that, that 
angular lines could make them angrier and the softer you make them it it is going to change what your character is like so there's like the angry version and then it goes to like the softer scale you know it would be like comparing Inuyasha or Kagame versus um <laughs> I want to say, I want to say Ichigo, but I've already said Ichigo so much. I love Ichigo. Anyway, so think of like R Rumiko Takahashi versus Tita Kubo's type of art style. I know he draws all soft characters as well, but you mostly, you mostly think of, you know, Ichigo when you think of uh, Tita Kubo. So, if, even if I'm pronouncing that right. So, take this in mind, and it also doing, you know, their expressions how they are how how it's move their movement of their of their eyebrows of their expressions of how they present themselves how angry they can show how um how expressionate they're going to be so 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 on so, on. so the movement of the face i use this the 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 cross right so when a face, when I do the face, it's the cross. This weird cross and to lower it down, it would make the face, okay? So we're, we're still in eyes and eyebrows right now. I'll move on to that later. So when you make the cross, you have to make this into a circle. I'm, so, I'm smacking my lips, I'm sorry. When making this into a circle, it will tell you how, uh, where you're gonna move the face, where you're gonna move the eyes. If you move it over here, you you do the circle right here. Put the you put your eyebrow line right on top. Boom, eyebrows right there. Your eyes are gonna be right on your eye line, and then it's gonna be the underneath, which would be the eye bags or any any sort of like little things that you wanna put on them. And so there you go. So, and then when you're making the character and you make the line right here. Uh, top line right there, eyebrows, eyebrows, eyes, eyes, boom, there you go. This is, this is really, really helpful because in, when you start, you can always start with a circle or you could just start with a cross, it doesn't matter. There are people who start this and start drawing characters just from like the mouth up or like hair down. I don't know how they do that, it must be like a trick or they sold their soul to Satan or something because I physically cannot do that. It is the hardest thing. And I've been drawing for 10 years and somehow I still still cannot do that. So that's different. If you start in any other different way, that's fine. If you look at this and you're like, mm, I don't like that, that's okay. There are many other YouTubers to look, YouTubers to look at. By the way, I was taught from Mark Crilly. So if you see that I want, some of my art style looks like that, that's why. If you learn art from a certain creator you're going to get the art style it's it's something i don't know i don't know it's something that i i have noticed okay so the way that the cross the well basically it's more like a circle because a face is, cir is circular and then the cross would be the middle of the face right so you turn in this in these ways right then that's easy just flip you just Fuck! You turn in these areas. So, even if you lower, oh, that was my paint. If you lower the face, let me see, the, the eyes right here, eyebrows right there. You just have to squish the face slightly. Eyebrows, there you go. Um, so that's the basics of what the eyes are like. I really hope I made sense because I'm looking this at myself. None of this makes sense. I really hope it makes sense. Oh my god. Uh, so thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll get more videos out when I can.